Hello, thank you so much for joining me and thank you for your patience. I am a mother and my child has been sick, so I have been caring for her and meeting her needs lately, but I have a really great video for you eight days out for my first NPC bikini competition, so stay tuned. We are eight days out. Welcome, welcome. My name is Candace McCool and I am documenting my bikini fitness journey to my first NPC competition. Today is Friday. Like I said, I'm eight days out and this is a typical Friday where I teach boot camp. One of my friends in Texas wanted to see what I did for my booty boot camp and so I told her I would record it so I'm going to go through one round of it in this video and I believe it is three rounds in total but um, I'll put the little workout in on the screen so you can write it down and do it for yourself it is a killer after I get done with the booty boot camp I actually have a hair appointment with my friend uh, Joy Smith and she is going to color my hair to match Match my uh, extensions that I'm going to have for show day so I will take you along with that and yeah after that my coach is supposed to send me my peak week information and all the changes that he's going to make to my macros and that will end my Friday so I hope you enjoy this video I'm going to try to show some shorter clips throughout this week of like what a day-to-day -day on a peak week looks like instead of making one huge one for you. And yeah, I'm super excited for you to join me. Like this video, subscribe so you know when I post another one, and let's do this journey together. got done doing a booty boot camp that I designed for my boot camp class and then I went straight into my programmed glute routine that I needed to get done. I am eight days out for my NPC bikini debut and I'm getting so excited. I don't want to leave any stone unturned so I am hitting it hard. 
I am going to go have a haircut color to make sure that my hair matches my extensions. You know, sometimes when you get in the sun, it can lighten your hair. And so I just want to make sure that everything looks even in the same color. And um, because I don't have a whole lot of time, it takes me a little bit of time to get to my hairstylist. I went ahead and packed up just a little bit of a protein snack. This is egg whites, bell peppers, mushrooms, and spinach and a little and topped with mustard. And then I also have a wrap that is turkey, just your um, deli meat turkey, some spinach, pickles, and I wrapped it in a Joseph pita. And I am going to have two of those. I don't know if you can see that. And then I'm gonna take my supplements. And if you don't know, I love taking uh, the fish oil and vitamin D3 with K2 and also um, a cortisol and adrenal support supplement that's got some ashwagandha in there because anytime that you are really hitting it hard in the gym, you're creating a lot of stress on your body and so lowering those cortisol levels are really important, especially when you're trying to shrink that tummy. Um, on the way home, because it'll take a little bit of time for the cut and the color, I've also got, I don't know if you can see in here, I've got some um, Mahi Mahi that I made in the air fryer and then just some pickled okra. So that should last me until I can get home and get my other snack, which I have made or I will make. It's uh, one egg and some hash browns. And then my dinner is going to be just my lean meat taco bowl. Because right now being eight days out, I don't want to introduce anything new into my digestion system. And so I'm pretty much going to eat the same things um, unless my uh, coach programs something different for Peak Week. And I will let you guys know what Peak Week looks like for me. I will catch you guys later. Bye. All right, so I am here at my hairstylist, the wonderful Joy Smith. And let me tell you about this woman. She is amazing. I have been doing pageant coaching with her daughter since she was five? Yes. Yeah, five years old. And she's how old now? Twelve. Twelve! And so she has been such an integral part of my family. I consider her family and she is a wonderful hairstylist and she is going to make me look amazing. So I'm going to hand it over to her and she can tell you what we're gonna do. All right, we've got some beautiful caramel uh, chocolate brown extensions. Candace doesn't have a lot of gray at all. Uh, random few strings here and there. Our problem is, is the older hair has gotten lighter naturally. Over time, it'll do that. So what we're gonna do is take this beautiful color that she has on top, a combination of the uh, extensions, and we're gonna pull it basically all through the end. I'm not gonna do a permanent color because she doesn't have a lot of gray, but I am gonna do a semi-permanent color that'll keep it nice and shiny, and we'll um, get rid of the, all this red that we have on the ends to match closer to her new natural hair. Yay! And I am also, uh, she's gonna put these extensions in and then I am going to FaceTime one of my posing coaches and let her see where it falls when I'm in my back pose. Cause you don't want it to be so long that it covers up your glutes. And so I will show you the finished product and show you a little bit of our FaceTime appointment. All right, see you then. Oh yeah, I didn't want to do anything myself because even though technically I could, it was so nice at the Miss, Mrs. USA Petite pageant to have someone there that did my tan and my hair and my makeup mm -hmm. because it was just one less thing that I had to stress about um, and it was wonderful, well worth it because she did it before the bikini uh, photo shoot that was on the beach, she did it before my interview before you know every time that i went on stage she even did a um my hair up in a ponytail so that it was a little bit different when i did my national costume um which i think just added a little extra something yes what'd you do with that national costume i still got it on work for halloween girl keep on it we might want it okay natalie's getting up to that age where she's gonna need a state costume absolutely we might borrow it rent it yeah. something and i actually 
I had a, um, a big flag that goes with it, um, and I, I want to say I had a helmet too. No, you did No, I don't know. I don't think I have a helmet. Okay. No, I just had the flag, and um, I was running so far behind um, getting into it and the hair change and stuff like that that I forgot and didn't even wear it on stage. <laughs> which is really awesome. Most places don't. You just go out and eat at any restaurant that you want to. Um, but this one, the hotel that they've chosen has a restaurant on the top level, uh, like outside. And so I got, one of my favorite places to shop is Plato's Closet. And I, because I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money and then get tanning on it because the tan that they use is way Hardcore. different. Yes, and it will get on everything. In fact, I've already bought black satin sheets to strip their bed and put black satin sheets on so I don't mess up the hotel beds. Um, I'm buying aluminum foil so to go around the toilet seat so I don't stain their toilet seat. I'm buying styrofoam pee cups so that I can poke a hole in it and pee through that, and that way I don't accidentally splash because if you splash, Oh, I'm buying um, just makeup wipes to wipe the palms of my hands because if you wash your hands, then any, it just washes right off. So I got the cutest little romper um, to wear that night, and it was like 10 bucks. And so I don't mind if I get something on it. Um, that's what I'm gonna wear that night. And I got some Skechers kind of platform heels mm -hmm. um, that are, they're made to be cushioned because I know with me being in high heels all day, I'm definitely not going to want to wear anything high heeled. I wanted something comfy and these don't put me on the ball of my foot, they put me on my heels. So yeah girl, I'm all kind of like prepared for stuff like that. And that tanning. Whew. And you can't wear any deodorant because the pH balance of your skin will change mm -hmm. and turn you green, so. Yes. Mally's had great armpits before. What, really? <laughs> Joy did with my hair and I met with Haley and she loves it the exact length that my extensions are so we did not have to cut them at all we decided instead of going straight that we are going to do curly to just give more volume since my hair is so thin and yeah I'm super excited eight days away I am about to eat my meal that I showed you earlier with the fish and the okra and then my little girl you know she's four years old and she's sick right now so her daddy took off work and has been caring for her all day all afternoon so I'm about to go by there and relieve
leave him so he can get out of the house just to even go by the grocery store and pick up things that he needs for his dinner and yeah take care of her the remainder of the day thanks so much for coming along with me on my little day of working out and preparing for my NPC bikini competition bye